guys, welcome back. So today I have my little helper, Sissy. Say hi, Sissy. Pussy, Appleseed. You want to tell everyone you have a YouTube too? No, Appleseed. Okay. All right, do you have a YouTube? No. She does. You guys can follow her. Appleseed. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys being a busy mom of three. I don't really have time to cook, nor do I know how to cook. So Apple Trader tea. Joe's is Apple my jam. Tea. Trader Joe's is my jam when it comes to getting food for the kids and get Apple it ready tea. in Apple like 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you my must-haves from Trader Joe's as a mom. You ready? Whoa! Now, I know some people are like, frozen food is not good. Yes, it is. It's great. It's amazing. It saves my life. So, oh, I got you three different mac and cheeses we can try. Okay. So, my first bag. And by the way, I just started shopping at Trader Joe's. There's one in my town. And I always did, you know, stop and shop or shop right. Trader Joe's, I save so much more money. Like, I get the same amount of stuff, and I'm saving, like, $150. It's insane. So the prices are great, and I just feel like the quality of the food is way better. So first we have cauliflower pizza crust. This comes frozen. Um, it's healthier. It's not like, you know, the dough, the carby stuff. No, we're not going to make this today. I'm going to make you some of the foods to show you how quick it is and easy, especially for a girl that does not know how to cook. Me. And yeah, also be able to feed your three kids. Mommy, I know how to cook. You do? Can you teach me? Yeah. Okay. So this is cauliflower pizza crust. It's amazing. You know, you just put the sauce and cheese on it or whatever toppings you want. And it's delicious. It's healthier for the kids. And, uh, I mean, it's basically already done. All you have to do is put the sauce, wash cheese, it. oven wash for like 20 minutes, no, and it's done. Mommy, wash it. Okay, so that's cauliflower. cauliflower, and everything I bought today was $110, nothing. So the next one is buttered chicken. Do we open it? No, we're not going to cook this one. This one is super easy, so it's buttered chicken with um, basmati rice with yummy one? rice. Can the chicken is amazing, the kids love it, one? super easy to make. Can you open this one? Now these I make at least once Hi. a week. Yeah, we're going to make this. And so this, this is chicken chow mein. Yes. It's low fat. All you have to do is open it, throw it on the stove, and you're done. So I make these. I make this and vegetable fried rice once a week. The kids love it. Gianni loves it. It's super easy to make, and I'm feeding my kids. So we're going to make these two. So put these over there. No, no, we're no. we're going to make these on the stove. We can have that for lunch. Pancakes. I don't have time for pancakes. Making the freaking mix. Please choose the cooking. This is my channel. Mm. Why don't you stop talking? Mm. You're rude. Pancakes. This is my pancakes. Yes, this is your pancakes. I don't have time to make it from scratch. My pancakes. Literally put these Mommy. in the in the microwave, you're done. My pancakes. With three kids in the morning, it's a mess. So I literally Mommy. pop them. Mommy. I pop them in the microwave and it's done. She loves pancakes, and she also loves, uh, what do you like, um, cinnamon sticks. What are they called? Cinnamon toast sticks that you can get anywhere. Okay, you count those pancakes. Yeah. And then I got mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, super easy too. This is great for lunch. Next bag. So these are good for us, for moms, for adults. They're good for kids too, but I mean, this is like, this is what I eat to survive. And they're amazing. They're good with salads. You toss them in a salad, toss them with vegetables. Are we gonna make this? No, this is already made. All you have to do is heat it up. Um, but this is grilled chicken strips. Come in this guy, they're super healthy. I feel like if you get the frozen, it's less sodium, but I mean, who cares? So this is just regular chicken. This is grilled lemon pepper chicken, literally already done. You just have to throw it in the microwave for a minute. And then we have grilled balsamic vinegar and rosemary chicken. This is really good on top of a salad with balsamic. So this is what I eat. I either put it in a salad or I toss it with some uh, veggies. But this is really good. 
Are you copying me? That's that. And then, this is for the kids when they're good. Sissy loves these dunkers. And she loves her raisin bread. But, Mommy, what? I, don't, I don't like these. You love raisin bread? No, I don't like these. I like the other raisin bread. She likes it. So but we mommy. have that. I know. Okay. And then what do you, you love these, right? You love these? The dunkers? So these are amazing. So sometimes if I go to a party and I want to bring a dessert, I'll buy, I'll buy all, the, all the Trader Joe's cookies and I'll put it on a plate <laughs> and pretend I made them all, but everyone knows I didn't. But it's a great spread. But these kids love the, um, these cookies because they're easy to dunk in milk. And they're just so good. Here, have one. Please. Treat yourself. Do you want that one? These are the chocolatey coated chocolate chip dunkers. And they have a whole bunch of different cookies. But these are their favorites. It's so good, right? <gasps> Alright, just one for now. So that's that. And then this is a must-have for me and all mommies. Rose, rose water facial toner, hydrate and refresh Trader Joe's. It's for me too, right? Oh yeah, you like this, ready? This is like a thing we do every morning, ready? Look at me though. Feels so good, right? So this keeps me awake and hydrated and alive. If I'm feeling like I'm in a bad mood or I'm tired, I'll spray my face six times with this and then I feel like a totally different person. So I ended up buying four the, the other one I left in my car, um, just because Trader Joe's was supposed to discontinue this, and there was a lot there, so I took four. But um, this is a must-have. This is my favorite rose water. Don't steal them. Those are for me. Last but not least, let's check. All right, we have more of that. Your hash browns. Ooh, these are our favorites too. What? Well, maybe we could cook one of these. Mandarin, okay. Boom, boom. All right. So more dinner options. This is freaking bomb. Mandarin orange chicken. Oh my god, it's so good. It's delicious. It's um, well, it's not that fattening, but the kids love it. So I just put it in a skillet, and you're done. You just add the sauce, and you're done. So it's just as easy as making the lo mein and the fried rice that we're going to make today. But it's super easy. It's delicious, and my kids love it, so I just keep buying it. So that's that. And then uh, tater tots. We have potato Trader Joe's um, tots. So they're just regular french fries. You throw them in the oven, you're done. But they taste really good, so that's why I love them. And then this is an option for breakfast. So it comes in a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pack of 10, hash browns, shredded potatoes. They're in the frozen section. And they're right by the pancakes. So this is like an easy, quick um, breakfast for the kids. Instead of always having cereal or um, yogurt. Sometimes I want them to have like a meal. So this would be their meal. Done. So those are my must-haves. There's a ton more that I could show you, but these are like the general ones. And so I'm going to cook for you guys, show you how easy it is. We're going to do our chicken chow mein, and we're going to do vegetable fried rice. Super easy. Are you going to help me cook? Come on. Okay. So it's super easy. I like to add a little oil so nothing sticks on it. I'm gonna do a little oil here, a little oil there. And just watch how simple this is. So we have our vegetable fried rice that the kids love. So we're gonna put that in one.
All right, so as you can see, super easy to make. It's delicious. And Giovanna is being a little brat right now. So I'm going to have my third child come in and try it. Fourth. Fourth child. Um, Joey? Kurakumi. I forgot I had Angelo. So you're my fourth kid. What did you're, you make? You're a chef. Yes. So you know that I can't cook, and it's really hard for me to cook anyway, even if I wanted to with three kids. Mm -hmm. So I made chow mein and vegetable fried rice. Try it. How'd you make it? It's frozen from Trader Joe's. So you just All pour it in a pot? All I have to do was pot? put it on a stove. Pardon my rose water. You don't have to add anything? Nope. That's good. Yep, and that. I want more. You don't have to add oil? I added a little oil. I've got it. And what's this? Noodles? Chow, chow mein. Some noodles, chicken, and vegetables. Mmm. <laughs> They're both really good. See? I don't really had this. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like frozen, like crap food that you would get at a regular grocery store. It tastes store. like real, um, from a takeout place. Yeah, but it tastes good. Like Very it's good, good for you. I mean, See you guys? Cold. And Joey would be honest because he's a chef and he knows, ew, my fourth kid. Mmm. Disgusting. You love it? Is it approved? It's frozen, just throw it in the bag? Yeah, you just throw it in a skillet and you're done. It's very good. It takes 10 minutes. So you guys, enjoy. I make this once a week for the kids and my husband. They love it and it's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy my Trader Joe's favorite items, especially as a mother, a busy mom of three, and a wife. Um, but yeah, I love Trader Joe's and they saved my life. So comment below. Let me know your favorites from the store and any questions you have. I am here for it. Like my video and subscribe. See ya, bitches. I have to go change his diaper now. Yeah.